Ah. Juan Smoot, Jaguars defensive end, joins us on the Goodyear hotline here on KJM. Juan helped his wife deliver their baby in his home following their win. We should call you Dr. Smoot. Juan and his wife were about to leave for the hospital around 4 a.m. Eastern when better than me. His wife fell to her knees, a team official said. Dwan caught her, wow. but there wasn't mm-hmm. enough time to get to the hospital before the baby was born. See, my producer had me tell the whole story. Why don't you tell the story, Dwan? What's going on? Hey, how you doing? Uh, thanks for having me. Thanks um, for coming on. Yeah, I'm, I, guess, I guess I'll just start from the beginning. Yeah. Um, the day before, we actually went to the doctors, and um, everything was fine. Uh, she, she said she wasn't dilated. She said there was, like, no risk of the baby coming within the week. So we were, we were thinking that she wasn't going to come for another week, and she wasn't even full-term yet. She ended up having her at 37 weeks. But um, so the night, the night it happened, um, apparently she was up at 3 o'clock. This is what my wife, well, my wife is telling me. She was up at 3 o'clock. She said she had to use the bathroom, and right after she did, the contractions start coming on. And that's when I woke up and I saw her bent over near the dresser. And of course, I'm coming over asking, is everything okay? Let's go ahead and start timing out the contractions and everything. And um, when we did, there were about 30-second um, 30 I mean, 30, 30 second contractions in a minute in between. So it started to come very, very quickly. And um, we're like, okay, you're having these contractions. We caught the midwife and because uh, we were planning on having her naturally at a, at the, at a, birth, at a birthing center anyway. So um, we caught her. And... She said, okay, just go ahead and head over, just stay calm. And that, that's what we tried to do. And, and Amari, in the, in the midst of it, she was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and take a shower and just get prepared for this. Uh, but right when she got in the shower, the contraction started to come on stronger and stronger. So we had to hurry up and get out of the shower. We're just like, all right, let's just hurry up and get in the car. We had to get, get our two-year-old son, and we just uh, started walking towards the door. And before, before I knew it, turned around, and she's like, like bending over in pain. So I came over to her and she like collapsed in pain and she just telling me, Hey, we're not going to make it to the hospital. Like feel down there. I put my hand down there and I feel a baby's head. <laughs> yeah. And man. literally within, within the next 10 seconds, the whole like baby just came flying out and I had no other choice, but to like catch Amari and to catch the baby at the same time. And, um, what, once we did, um, like the umbilical cord was kind of tied behind her neck and my wife, my unbelievable wife, she literally just popped an ax and grabbed the umbilical cord and like took it off her neck. And she, the baby looked up and took a deep breath and started crying. We were like, yes, all right. It's, wow. uh, it's a healthy baby. Yeah. yeah. Well, see, so. <laughs> Smooth, I'm glad you explained everything to me because when I first heard all this, I said, oh, he a better man. She have told me I'm contracting and, and, and I would, you know, as she started to bend over and fall a little bit, I would have laid her down on the pillow. I would have said, I'm calling 911 and I would have passed out next to her. That's just, that's <laughs> no just, doubt. The, that's <laughs> just, no a, doubt. that's just the reality. I'm calling 911. I'm going to sit on the porch. You keep your legs crossed. They're coming. That's all I could give her. Please, I been- couldn't have kept her calm like you, man. You. I don't know, man. I I'd couldn't have been do in the it. fetal position. If the, when they mm. got there, they would have thought that I was the baby. <laughs> Absolutely, they, they would have thought that you know you give rid of me. <laughs> what I got you. How the hell did you stay calm throughout this whole period? Um, well, we we did have our son natural as well at our house. Just did, at that time, we had the midwife and we had a doula, so we had a little bit more medical experience around us. But this time, um, we already we already kind of knew the drill, you know. And yeah. when the baby when the baby was started to come, we were like, all right, well. I guess we're going to have this baby here. We kind of kind of have a little bit of experience. So uh, I was just able to stay calm within that time. And, um, I mean, I, I sound a lot more calm on the on the 911 call, but I was I was hyperventilating immediately once the baby came out. <laughs> See, <laughs> Just running around the house, just looking for the phone, trying to call 911. It seems like to me just listening to you right now, you tried to bamboozle us, man. You're a doctor. Why are you sitting up playing? You you a doctor, man? Because you <laughs> you talking about yeah pre med or something? Because yeah. you sitting up talking about well we did it actually before I was calm I knew what to do of course because again if it was one of us three knuckleheads sitting up here I don't know how it would have went. Smooth, I can tell you, do his help, man. That first time around, I had to do it. It, it changed the game for number two. Yes, yeah, they, they definitely do. They're they're a big help. They they step in whenever like you just need anything. I remember our last doula um, in the middle of like. Uh, her, her having contractions and her going into labor, she was like there for anything, like towels. We needed anything. If she, if uh, my wife needed something to drink or anything, anything that uh, my wife needed at that time, she was there. So I mean, it was it was huge to have her there. And the midwife 
they're they're obviously there to you know actually do like delivering the baby you know so uh, it was kind of crazy not having <laughs> having either one of them there that time no obviously you didn't make the practice that day uh but you called into the team mm-hmm. meeting later that day how did the teammates in, in coach urban and in you know a position coach and in all of those guys react to learning that you had a clutch performance as a cliche of sports would say at home though with your baby uh they they were very excited especially just coming off that that 20 game uh streak that we just that we just broke everyone was excited and um it's kind of like that hype of that kind of died down and they went straight on to uh this this hype which i mean that um immediately once i told uh coach urban he he jumped in action told everybody around the building and he had me uh come on the team meeting and kind of tell the story and everybody was just so happy and Honestly, we're we're all just happy that Alani Alani came out healthy more than anything. First of all, you're catching your wife and the baby at the same time, and you're I mean, this is unbelievable. What's going on over here? Great hands, <laughs> great, great hands. <laughs> all right, uh, Dewan Smoot Jaguar Jaguars defensive end. Yeah, what's up? I was gonna say, are you related at all to Fred Smoot? Uh, I keep people keep uh, to ask me that. I have no idea. I've never met him. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, how many smoots are there, really? I don't right? know. I, I never just, heard it, of it didn't dawn on me till now when you said his name, Dewan Smoot. I'm like, I wonder if he's related to Fred Smoot. All right, that's. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's a lot of smoots out, out east, uh, out in North Carolina, Philadelphia, and uh, and Ohio. It's a bunch of them out there. We're we're and a big family. Yeah, and there's one more in Jacksonville. Am I right? One more smoot in Jacksonville. Yes. Dewan Smoot, <laughs> Jaguars defensive end on the Goodyear hotline. Congratulations Congrats, to Steve. you and your wife, Dewan. I'll call you next time. Thank you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.